song about a notorious romance of the Gaslight era. just fell in here. Not much in the way of feathers, but uh, a little color right there. That's all I can say. Roll the drums here now. Thank you very much, but uh, who are you? I'm Bill Bailey. I've come home. Oh, no, you're not. No, I'm Wally Bogue, that loud, long, lean, loquacious, sometimes the conic loon kick who loves to deal, delve, and dabble in delirious dialogue and dynamic dissertations, or in other words, I'm a traveling salesman. Oh, you had things to sell there. Well, why don't you show all those charming people out there exactly what you have to sell in that carpet bag? And I wish you luck. Okay, Foot Foot, I'll do the best I can. You're staring at me. <laughs> well, all together now, I just got off stagecoach from Chicago. Got to catch a steamboat to St. Lou. I have a lot of things I want to sell you, so let's proceed with what we have to do. That rhyme with St. Lou, I hope. Why are you there? Well, I'll just take a look in my purse here and see what we have. <laughs> Here we have the gambler's friend. This always makes a sale, and you make your fortune with these. They never fail. Look at here, Niagara Falls. From the Canadian side. Niagara Falls frozen. <laughs> Why are you there? Let's see what it is. The low shooting iron was seven knots. Count them. Seven! Nobody sleeps while I'm on. Let's see what it is. Why have you there? This will never sell. Davy, Davy Crockett, the What else you got? Well, I just have a little something here. A little something called a bow balloon. A little toy balloon that will enable you to tell people's personality just by the way they blow it up. Let me show you how it works. You see, the average a normal person will blow a balloon something like that. That's the average a normal type. And then we have the straightforward type, Dave. <laughs> Some people are a little backwards in life. Naturally, the backward person, they... <laughs> oh, I've got talent. Then we have the scatterbrain. Their mind jumps around a bit. Their balloon would do the same thing. There we are. Right there. Okay, I think we have a little, uh, little income tax trouble right there. Now, to get the message, you have the person wrap up all of these thoughts, put them all together, and by doing that, you find out something more about them. I made quite a name for myself doing this. I don't like it either, but... <laughs> Say, now, you've heard of pink elephants? Here's an elephant in color right here, looking a little something like that elephant right there. Oh, it's nothing I can tell by the applause. Now, let's, uh... Take his little old trunk here now, make a little old suitcase. There we are. I had an uncle who used to see elephants when he was drunk. He was a character, he was a kleptomaniac. And that's a person who finds things before you lose them, but he's reformed now. He only steals things to begin with A. A watch, A car, A purse, A watch, Ava Gardner. Here's a shy, sort of a rabbity type. See the rabbit sitting up looking a little like that. Did you hear about the little rabbit who washed his hair and couldn't do a thing with her? Oh, wake up now. Some of you are listening. This is just a normal husband leading the life of a dog, but he's a gay, debonair, French poodle type dog. A little income tax trouble there again. Big deal. Nothing. French poodle. I had to sell my dog. He ran in front of a streetcar and it cut off his tail. I sold him wholesale. I couldn't retail him. <laughs> oh, perhaps you're right. Here's a uh, nervous type. They're afraid to blow a balloon too hard. They leave about that much, then they cheat. They give it that. I didn't do anything. Contact. There we are. Right there. We'll just wrap up all of these thoughts now. Nerve wracking, isn't it? And see what we have here. Oh, I think we see you. Hi there. What, what's your name there, huh? Well, come on up here. I'll give you a souvenir to take home. Hi. What 
What's your name? You got a name? Yeah. What is it? Um. That's a good name. I like that. How old are you? Five. Five? You married yet? No, you look happy. I can see that. What's, what's your favorite kind of dog, no name? Um. Favorite kind? Hot dog. <laughs> Would you like this police dog I'm waving at you here? Yeah. That's good. He's in the Secret Service. You might not have recognized him there, you see, but he's really a pretty nice dog there anyhow. Tell you what, I want you to... Good to see you. You afraid of germs or something? Shake hands. That's it. This is a police dog. You take it home and feed it hot air three times a day, and if you can't, you ask your mother. I'm sure she has plenty of hot air around the house. And I want you to know... Sorry, uh. sir. <laughs> Nose right there. Now that's the magic twist there. You can practice when you get home. Thanks for coming up, and I'll see you later. Remember my name, Wally Bogue. You'll be reading about me in the newspapers. I smoke in bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here's an MC type. Here's a show off now. Don't worry about a thing. Don't worry about a thing. You can worry a little now. I lose more balloons that way. Hey, Marv, you know a little song entitled When They Operated on Father, They Opened Mother's Mail. Chum, chum, chum. It was my father they operated on when they opened Mother's Mail. You folks don't care. Do you? Father cared. You see, the nurse, she... <laughs> I better not. Tell you what, chaps, I'll sing a song and you chaps string along because it's pretty. It's pretty bad. It goes something like this. When... It's so hot in here today. What'd you expect, feathers? <laughs> this is a Hollywood convertible. <laughs> and he looks so young. I heard you, madam. <laughs> All together now, I, just an off-stage coach from Chicago, silk and steamboat to St. Louis. Hope you like the things I had to sell you because I, uh, I, uh, I just finished. 